hello youtube welcome to ab and jack media youtube channel and here we keep things simple in this tutorial we are going to make a blur picture sharp using photoshop cs6 and if you have uh, other versions of photoshop uh, the same process applies regardless so uh, let's get into it now, first of all we are going to bring in the picture go to fire open um, and then uh, from there you you double click where the picture is and it comes into your photoshop it's just uh, yeah it's coming the system is a little bit slow because I have a lot of things open yes yeah, so it's there we are here now we have the picture in already so because you can see the picture is blur let me zoom in a little bit you can see it's blur and we need to sharpen it we need to make it a little bit uh, sharper improve the sharpness in Photoshop so the first thing you want to do is uh, to duplicate this picture make two more layers of the picture and how you do it is you uh, you hold uh, control if you're, that's if you're using the windows system you hold control down and then you press j okay that's if you're using the windows system if you're using the mac system you hold command down you press the command key and hold it down and then you press j so I'm using the Windows system so I'm going to press my control key and hold it down and press J to duplicate the layer or make two layers as you can see we have a layer one and layer one copy these are two layers and that's how you do it you start that way so from here we are going to blur more a little bit more of one layer we're going to make it uh you know some somewhat uh, a little more blur than it already is and this allows us to separate uh, the uh, frequencies called frequency separation and this is what we use to make the image sharper so the first step is to click on this uh, layer layer one uh, and then we, we we put off the top layer so we can see what's under so this layer is uh, uh, in view right now we can see this layer because we've put off this one on top like this you press this I uh, sign and you put this off so this layer is revealed we can see this layer now this is what we are seeing on the board right now so we'll go to fire and uh, go to blur Gaussian blur then we set it to 6 you can set it to uh, whatever number you want to set it depending on how sharp you want the image to be at the end but uh, that's for you to play around with to you know make it yours when you're done when we're done with the process just look around and try it out and see what works best for you but for the sake of this video we're using 6 setting this the radius to six so we okay that um okay with that done we will go to this layer the layer one copy and we'll bring that back we'll expose that back um, the next step from here we go to image and then go all the way to apply image Okay, we have this dialog box here the next step is to click on layer and you use layer one okay the layer that we blurred we blurred out remember we blurred out layer one you know in our layer uh, segment so this is it you click the layer one and you come to the blend blending mode 
you put it on add then come to scale you change that to two okay make sure it's on two and your opacity is on 100 and then you invert uh, this setup this is what you get you get a pale outlook you know gray outlook with your eyes and your eyebrows and every the edges outlined as you can see here so you okay and there you have it your layer one copy is set for the next step so the next step is you you come over here you change this to uh, linear light okay change that to linear light and uh, it becomes transparent okay now we're seeing the layer below it this one is somewhat invisible it's still there but uh, you will see why we have to do that shortly now when that is done you uh, go to um, your control J as you press control hold it down and then press J that's if you're using a, a, a window system you press control hold it down and press J and if you're using a Mac system you press command hold it down and press J what, what are we going to do what is that going to do for us it's going to multiply it's going to increase or, or add uh, more copies of this layer one copy okay we need to have six layers of this we need to, we need to multiply into six layers so i'm going to press ctrl j you know five times to add uh, five layers to this making it a total of six layers all right making it total of six layers so as you can see the image is already sharp you know sharper than it was when we started so um, you might want to do this according to what how sharp you want the image to be you can make the layers even more uh, just try it out and see how it works and this is how you achieve a sharper image if I toggle the switches if I close this uh, eye signs and reveal the before image you will see let me just do that let me see you will see yeah you can see it's blur and if I bring this back you see it becomes sharper okay so we have before when it was blur and we have after now it's sharper okay so we have a sharper image as you can see so uh, you may want to play around with this make it yours uh, uh, practice and see what you can come up with it's a pretty simple process I believe anyone can do this and uh, I've explained it simple enough uh, this is uh, not a, 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 a total replacement of you trying to get snap you know shoot your images sharp right from uh, your lens you know this just uh, helps you to improve not really make it perfectly sharp because you, you cannot replace the lens you know the image being sh uh, shot uh, very sharp using your lens you know when you focus on your lens you get the image sharp there it's better than missing it out and coming in post to correct it you can only improve it you cannot make it as perfect as it would have been if you got the sharpness from your lens so uh, uh, this is how you you come up with this, this is the final result and I hope it's simple enough if you liked this video please subscribe hit the bell button like and share with people who might also need this kind of content also follow us on Instagram Facebook Twitter at AB and Jack Media. This is AB and Jack Media YouTube channel, and here we keep things simple.